All right, everybody, I am so excited. Here we are back at Zane's World Nursery. And I'll put the number and the contact information below. This is an amazing nursery I was at recently. And I tried uh, Mame Apple. And last year I was here in this amazing nursery and I tried a jackfruit that they had a seedling jackfruit. We're gonna look at the tree today. But it was one of my favorite jackfruits because I do like soft jackfruits, but what I really loved about it was the easy peel. And to me, that makes a world of a difference. So easy peel, jackfruits, and this is a Zane. How you doing, man? Hey, hey, Paul. And that's Rob. How you hey, doing? Paul. So tell us about the history of this. Uh, is this the jackfruit? Yeah, so these are the fruits. Okay, so they look a little so, bigger than last year, no? Yeah, so like this one's the ripe one that we'll be cutting open. Okay, so tell us but, the history about this because it's one of the best ones I've ever had. So tell so, us. So eight years ago, we were at the Rare Fruit Council meeting and we were eating a jackfruit and we got a seed of, out of the fruit and we decided to plant it in the ground. And then it fruited at like three years old and we hated it. We thought it was the grossest thing ever because it's soft, it's not like crunchy. Like, like we like crunchy jackfruit, so to us it was just soft. So we'd be giving away all the fruits. We, we never really ate them. We thought about cutting down the tree, but we never did that. And then we thought about, the tree's like 80 feet tall now, so we thought about maybe knocking it down to where it went bushy, but we were like, we don't like it enough. We don't want it to take up a huge area, so we just left it really tall. So I just climbed the tree to pick the fruits when I need to get them. So when we first uh, were eating it, we're not a big fan of it because generally speaking, I like the crunchy jackfruits. You know, I, I, I don't mind the china, but it's not like I prefer the crunchy jackfruits to like the china jackfruit. So it wasn't one of our favorites. Um, but after you kind of eat it enough and think and stop, and you know, for us, we stopped thinking about it as a, as like a regular jackfruit and think of it more like a china. We started to like it a little bit. And then we would take it to, uh, the ref we took one to the fruit council one time and did a, did a tasting of it. And before we put, before we had people try it, we showed them how you open it up and they got all excited because it was so interesting to watch it open up. And then we, we explained to them, we said, don't think of this as like eating a jackfruit. Because if you think of it like eating a jackfruit, like if I gave you an apple and you saw me peeling and you saw me cutting up with a knife and then I blindfolded you and, and put a piece of banana in your mouth, you'd probably spit it out because you're expecting that banana or you're expecting that, that, that apple flavor, the crispness. So if you, but if, so if you go into it thinking it's not jackfruit and then you eat it just as just a super sweet honey fruit. Then they all ate it and they're like, wow, we really like this. And that Rom really liked it. You know, he was there at that, that particular tasting and he says, oh, I really like this one. And so, um, yeah, then we kind of you know, started eating it here and there. And then, you know, you came and you tried it and, because we knew you liked the soft jackfruits and you flipped for it because. Yeah, you know, it's easy to open and it tastes great. And I love uh, Chine in general. Yeah. Now, what's this of seedling of? We think it's black gold because it's the it's such a big leaf. You know, like if you look at the leaves on that, show them that that fruit that fell, and you can look at how the leaves are shaped. I mean, they're like they look like uh, big gold. ficus leaves. Yeah. And so we think it's a seedling of a black gold, and but they're not round. And it could be a black gold china hybrid. You know, maybe there was a maybe there was a china next to it, and it's a and it's a hybrid of those two. And so that's why you sort of get the characteristics. Of, of both of those a little bit more. So is this the typical size that they've been so, every like, year? I would say that this is about the biggest that they get. And I would say that this is probably maybe a 20 pound fruit, somewhere okay, around there. Now, was it just the one I got or the, all of them can be peeled, easy peel or? They're, they're all, all the ones from this tree are easy to peel, easy to open and all that. Now have they fruited every year? Every year for the past four to five years. And it's a pretty heavy producer too. In, yeah, most years we've been getting like 30 fruits off it, but this year, for some reason, it just didn't, I th it actually set a lot, but then for some reason, some of them fell off. It might've been all the rain we were getting. They might've just made a lot of them. Now you have a really, you let the tree grow really tall for yeah, space wise. We'll go so look at the tree. People that have a small space, they yeah. can let this grow straight up. It grows straight up. So it's not all jackfruits will grow straight up, but a well, lot will. Well, it's also a, this seed is also a seedling. So that's yeah, why yeah. it's probably like okay. yeah. well, A seedling jackfruit does get a lot taller than a, than any grafted one. Grafted ones do stay more bushy, but this one does seem to have a much more like, like upright. Is it true fruit. that Jackfruits and avocados will grow to their space. If there's not a lot of space, they'll grow up. But yeah, yeah they'll fill in. They'll, they'll kind of go fill into the, towards the light. You know, like in a, in a forest in a jungle. When the when the light opens up, the trees will kind of go to there. And well, I guess all fruit trees. Because I planted a mango close, and it oh. came straight up. Yeah, so great. 
All right, great. So, should we? Open, you want to open that one up first? Yeah, open? Let's open that up, and then we'll see the tree. But I want to show everybody how easy it is to open because, uh, and it's from what I remembered, and I could be wrong, but there wasn't latex. Is that not much? Yeah, the latex not much. is around the core. And so you know, he's doing it with a knife, a little knife he has there. Yeah. <laughs> but I did that with my hands. Yeah. I was able to do it. So, so. Zane wanted to show off this knife. <laughs> he goes, "Look, I'm going to use this big knife." Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Wow, look at that. Yeah, the, the things look pretty small, though. Mm. But it looks way better than the one yeah, small. And you are going to have these... Uh, uh, the trees will be ready. Now, the graft of the trees will be ready, not the mm. seedlings, but grafts. You'll have grafts available of this. This one's not up. Wow. This one's not ready yet. Well, it's not, it's not ready. It's very young. Yeah. It's still like, it's like the first one of the year. So it's yeah. Unfortunately, we the reason why we called you out is because they're not bad. They're just had, they're just uh, not as good as they would be a little bit later. We have so few fruits that we didn't want to miss. You know, there's only ten more fruits left on the tree, so we didn't not even. Miss that, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's just, this is it's not sweet like the last one that you had. Yeah, All right, well, we'll try try it. it could be because of the rain. I can take the most yellow. It's not. Uh, they're not as full this year. Yeah, I think that it, I think one, it's very watered down. Open one that broke open or that fell off the tree. And it's uh, like it hardly had any fruit on the seeds. Not bad, just not as sweet as they normally are. Yeah. And, and, and the pink of the season. We, next time we have you come out, we'll make sure that we like, cut it up on the bottom and taste it first. Because, like I said, we, we had to have you come out because what if the rest of them are gone by the time? Yeah. Well, show us the tree. Yeah, we'll uh, come back and open one and taste oh, one when it's ready. But look at this one. Oh yeah, here's that. That's not from the same no. tree. This is a uh, Excalibur Gold. Excalibur about, Gold. About a 40 okay. pound fruit. I just picked out this morning. Now what's the deal with Excalibur Red? Because uh, I, I my, my neighbor has one and it's absolutely terrible. I don't like it at all. <laughs> and most people say it's not too sweet. But I've heard other people taste it and say it's amazing. And um, from what I hear, he got a, a, a grafted one, not a seedling. Yeah, we have an Excalibur Red that has not really fruited very much. Yeah, it's not none of the fruits have ever really matured. They always fall off under ripe. So and that I can't tell you how good they are. Like okay. you know, we're we're trying to avoid like right now we're grafting new varieties. We're not grafting Excalibur Reds. We're not grafting uh, We're not grafting any ones that we don't. We're not grafting anything that we could be grafting a lot of, but we wanna Make taste them more. Because if we're gonna add it to the to the like twenty five varieties we're gonna carry, we want everyone to be a home run. So and what's that? That was uh, Excalibur Gold? Yeah. That's not the same as Honey Gold, right? No. Okay. And that's a firm one, yeah? Yup. Pain in the ass to clean. Yeah, after you were going to cut that up a little bit? Yeah, maybe I'll cut that one when we get back. Alrighty. Now I know the tree is tall and straight up. Have you ever cut the top or, or no? No, I have never cut the top of this tree. And how old is the tree? Eight years old. Eight years old. Will it get to some point where you will cut it or you just keep I it don't. straight? Probably. So, sure that. wow. That's the tree. Wow. I guess I'll go climb it, see if there's another ripe one. Yeah, Zane was making comments earlier, like three days ago, about how a lot of the a lot of the fruits were farther out this year. You see how those ones are yeah, they're not. out there? There was a branch coming out this way that had about 45 pounds of fruit on it. So. And he called me yesterday saying the piece snapped. <laughs> Okay. And so we lost the four fruits. So when you, here, let me go. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is a problem though, everybody, with having a jackfruit tree this tall. Zane's a young guy and he's gonna climb up the tree and get them down. And these are smaller jackfruits, but if that's a 50 pound jackfruit, you're not gonna be getting it down from up there without dropping it. And so like this is what a normal jackfruit leaf looks like. It's about that big on average and all that. And then from this tree, the leaves are much Round bigger and much bigger. rounder. And which that is a very big characteristic of the black gold is they tend to have much larger leaves. So, yeah, I mean, if this didn't have fruits on it, you would look at it and think it's some kind of fight, some kind of fig tree. Yeah, because it doesn't have anything. And the trunk's maybe about, what, 10 inches, maybe bigger? Yeah, maybe a foot at the, bite, at the base. Are you going to climb up there? Sure. All right. <laughs> yeah, so this is what most people don't do, but he's climbing when, up there. When you have the... The tree is a grafted tree. It should be bushy like a regular bushy 
pushy jackfruit, but you can keep it small. Nope. You know, for just for practical purposes, we don't want it to take up all the space down here and block out all the other stuff. So we're letting it go up there because Zane can go up there and pick the fruits. And that way we can still have fruits and we're sort of utilizing a different part. Don't go out too far because that branch is gonna might break. <laughs> you don't need to <laughs> lose another one. I know, but I need to check it. <laughs> nope. Yeah, usually when you when you drive when you like walk past here in the morning, if there's a ripe one you can smell it. Yeah, yeah. People ask me when do you know Jack is ready? I tell them to smell, smell it. it. You'll yeah. smell it. I mean. Yeah, but like there's only seven fruits left. Normally this tree would have. Yeah, I guess there's no more ripe ones. The Not today. Is going crazy right now. Is that the bell? That's the bell. I'll try one of those. All right, so we'll come back here when this is ready, this variety, and we'll try it out. And they're going to have some for sale as well. So we're looking forward to coming back and tasting it. But the season is here now, so I just wanted to let everyone know and show you how easy it was to open. So we'll be back here uh, in a couple of weeks. We'll taste it, and uh, they'll be opening up for yeah, in a couple uh, weeks we'll have, have these ready. In a couple weeks we should have at least about uh, 10 or 12. And what are you going to call them? Zane's World Soft. Zane's World Soft. Okay. All righty. Well, thank you for so, showing us this and stay tuned, everybody. So, so like you were talking about filming, uh, you were talking about um, jackfruits filling in the space that they're in. So like this is a, I'd say probably a four or five year old Bangkok lemon tree. When you look at it, there's about 10 fruits on this tree. Some of them are just laying on the ground right at the base and other ones aren't. Last year we got like a, a like a 30 pound fruit off this tree, which these hopefully should start ripening soon. Okay. Because it has so many at such a small size, they are How old not is that gonna, tree. I said four to five years old. Okay. But as you see, it kind of took up this angle compared to the big tree and it still has a lot of fruits on it for such a small size. Absolutely. Well, thank you. All right, that's one of my favorites, Bangkok lemon right there. Okay, so this one's called Excalibur Gold. This is a really big fruit here. Now, you see, right away, uh, Zane's doing something that I don't do. He's cutting it without gloves. <laughs> so I don't know how, the riper they are, the less latex uh, all doctors usually have, but they still have good latex. I'm just gonna cut in quarter. Yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of water coming up, but we also have a lot of water out here right now. So that could be something that's affecting a lot of our fruit. Didn't really affect our mangoes taste-wise. Wow, that is big. <laughs> now we will taste this, but in general, how do you rate this? I don't see that much latex. No. That's one really, the, could be, it could be because there's a lot of water. It's, and how do you rate this in general, if it's good compared so to others? we didn't like this one the first year it fruited. The, the little the carpal fruit, the carpels were really big. They were they were like this big, thick, thick, thick walls. And then other than now in New Year's now, it has been much smaller. This is actually oranger than normal too. Yeah. Fruit was very easy to open because of the size. The bigger they get, the, the easier they get to actually like clean because I was just able to cut the core out in one sheet. very thick walls it's actually a little watery uh -huh. I, I saw the water coming out of it when you were cutting it this is because there's too, there's too much rain right now most all your fruit will taste better when it's got no rain well we're gonna come back and taste the other one you see the difference here between the Excalibur gold how big and versus yeah, the other one how we look at the size of these uh, the thickness of the walls and this is a thin this is a thin version it's a big different color here. All right. Oh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll be back here and do the next part of the film when they have some more of the Zane's World Soft Jackfruit. All right, everybody. Here we are. It's uh, about a month later, maybe even uh, longer than a month later. We're back at Zane's World Fruit Trees. There's the number. I'll put the link below. And they called me up. They said, we have your favorite. <laughs> it's not really my favorite, but it's one I love. Uh, jackfruit uh, available and it's up there with my favorite it was great it's easy peel it's sweet they actually it was a seedling but they actually named it now but they have uh, some available now for me to uh, taste 
and have and this is Zane say hello hey I'm Zane and uh, so this is it here and it's much bigger now than it was last time last time I remember it was small and easy peel it's much bigger now and what they think it is they said well when the tree doesn't produce as much fruit because last year there was like 50 fruit on there and this year there was significantly less but they said there was less fruit it's, it's bigger right yeah so but it's still easy peel and they have these trees now available uh, they were seedlings, but now they grafted the seedling that I like so much. And they even put on the label. They're calling it Zane's World Soft. That's the name. And they even put on here Paul's Favorite, so you know which one you're getting. It is great. I'm looking forward to tasting this. I got one of these trees, uh, so they're limited. So call them up and get these right away. I'll put the number below. Uh, and there's Zane. Anything else you want to say about this tree? You no. Think, you, yeah. Yeah, like he said, last year there was like 30 or 40 fruits on it, and they were ranging like anywhere from 10 to like 18 pounds for the most part. This year we only got like 12 fruits, and four of them fell off immature, and that's when he did the first video and said none of those came out any good. But now the last ones are all huge. Like this is 30-plus pound fruit right here. And now so being a seedling that you don't know much about it, uh, and you're learning the characteristics. I know like on avocados and mangoes, some varieties can be like semi-annual, like every other year they might produce a lot and some years not that well. Does so, that happen with jackfruit or is this, you just waiting so to see? So this what? year for jackfruits, it was actually a pretty bad year for jackfruits. Like I don't know why, but like a lot of the jackfruits that we got at our yard this year, mostly the crunchy versions, um, they were all very watery and didn't have a lot of flavor. So, it's probably because of all the rain that we were getting. We were just getting so much rain. They just kept washing up fruits. Okay. And so, I don't... Like, I have tried these already, and they are good. So, I don't know exactly how it's going to affect these as much. But So, if they're not as good as they were, that's just because of all the rain we got. And I know rain even affects mangoes and things yeah, like that. it affects everything. Yeah. And here's uh, Rob. Uh, Rob, how you doing? Hey, Paul. Hey, everybody. Anything you want to say about uh, what we've got here? The um, No, not really. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, because it was so dry when they were forming and then it got so wet, they may have just, you know, not built up the sugars. They built up the sugars for the dryness. And then all of a sudden when they pumped all that water in there, it watered it out a bit. I know sometimes you, people have maybe cut open jackfruits and you pour it and literally liquid, like, liquid flows out of it. Yeah. And that's kind of what we had. I mean, they still were... We had some friends come down from up north, and they were like, oh, my God, this is the best jackfruit we ever had, and we're eating it like you. You know, we're yeah. going, eh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I like soft jackfruits when they're sweet, and I just got rid of my tree that was soft, but – and it was super sweet, but it was way too soft. Yeah. It was crazy, mm -hmm. so oh, I just the, cut that one out. Oh, that yeah. seedling that you had? That seedling that I had, and uh, – and yeah, so very cool. And uh, they got a whole bunch of other amazing uh, trees here. And yeah, so a bunch of them. I'm excited because they also have, this is super cool. I've been wanting to try this for a long time. This is Kwai Muk. They sell the trees here and this is the fruit. I've never seen it. I've heard about it. And I'm going to taste that too today for the first time. So that's really cool. Yeah, we do have, we have a lot of different types of jackfruits. I, I was looking over our list and we have more jackfruits than any other place around. Um, we've got about 15 varieties right now of grafted 15. trees. Wow. And we're hoping to have about 25. Show us where they are. Future. Take us there. Show us. Okay. All right. We're going to, it's going to take us over here to the, Boca, China, uh, cantaloupe, banana, Kush Crush, uh, China, the banana crush. That's uh, J31. Easy peel, right? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I think that's the easy we peel one as well. Those ones yet, so. Banana crush is like a China. I heard. My one, the Zane's World Soft, Gold Nugget. Uh, let's see here. There's Borneo Red. Nuggets. Well, I'm not out of that area. You got the China? Yeah, that's down here. Uh, orange Crush. Orange Crush. Cantaloupe. Uh, Cochin. 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 Black Gold. Black Gold. Uh, more soft. And, and what reds. size is this? Three gallon? Soft, Those are three gallon. Yeah. Reds. So, I mean, three gallon jackfruits are 55. This is the largest selection of jackfruit you'll get of all the nurseries around. And... Did you graft them yourselves, these? We have a guy that grafts them for us. Okay. Nice. 
So do you want to go cut open this? Yeah, we actually have quite a bit of Zane's World Stops right now. Yeah. Oh, so great. We have, we have more being made. Being made right now. So hopefully in the 30 days we'll start having some more. You want to go to like that side of the table and first, uh, let me try the quiet mock. Oh, you want to try that first? Yeah, let's try this first. That's really cool. All right, so I cut off a branch with a fruit on it, so you can see how they kind of hang on there. And so, how old is your tree? So the tree that fruited, it's actually it's actually one that we bought like seven years ago or whatever, five years ago, something like that, at the Broward County Record Council on a 15 gallon. It had a big scar in the trunk, probably from being sunburned. And so this is the first time it's fruited since then. So it was already a decent sized tree then. So right. I'd say it's probably maybe an eight, eight or nine year old tree. And, but because it had the big scar in the trunk, it's been healing the whole time. I do have one that is only like four years old that flowered this year, but didn't set any fruit. So it's kind of unknown how long exactly they take. Okay, can but you eat the skin on that? Or yes, no? you can. So this tree in particular is a much sweeter is, is sweeter than the other ones around. This fruit might be a little overripe, I do not know. But we got other ones that are ready, so. All right, there's a quimuk, and the skin is edible, you said. Now, are there seeds in here? Yes. Yeah, there's like a little, <laughs> Is it over it? No, it's okay. All right. Yeah, they're small seeds. And are all the fruits that size? So the fruits range from like wow. this. Depends on how pollen it is. This one will have like two or three seeds in it. It is the first year, so we can't judge what they're gonna look like. The seeds are like big papaya seeds. Yeah, they're kind of like little tiny jackfruit seeds. <laughs> well, that tastes great. Yeah, I think they're wonderful. That's yeah, really we're, nice. We're air lowering this tree right now because this one seems to be sweeter than all the other ones we've had. Pretty much all the ones that are around that, that came from the came from this one tree that used to be at the uh, Sunday the Sunday house. Richard Wilson planted there a long time ago, and we had collected seeds off of it four or five years ago, and I gave a bunch to Zill, and uh, Excalibur had a bunch, and so most wow. of all the trees that came, came from that one tree, and that yeah. tree was a little more sour, and so we asked, the, we asked uh, Karim about this tree, uh, where it came from, and he didn't really know yet. He said maybe he thought it came from, from Excalibur, but for whatever reason this one is sweeter than the other ones so we don't know what all the seedlings are going to be like so we have a seedling that will probably fruit next year as well so then we'll be able to compare the two and see yeah but even bobby ate this one and was it was like wow this one's really sweet <laughs> that was really nice all right a new fruit i tasted now i'm excited for the look at that that is the zane's world soft world soft let me get out another very nice right all right, so let's cut it open. With that small knife that he has. Yeah, I know he, he had a small knife to pick from, but he decided to go for the big jackfruit big Rambo knife. knife. Now, from what I remember, this was an easy peel jackfruit. As you can see, it, it peels easy. It's soft and it peels easy. And again, it might be watery, this year because uh the rain but look at that everybody that's easy peel okay. wow be the be the first paul wow here we go let me uh oh, let me get a picture of this really fast beautiful it's like something all right alien. and that's easy peel because it because all the rag comes off with the it skin all comes off everything and, and and all the latex is usually in the core so when you don't have to Cut the core. Okay, so the latex is not even on there. Mm. Very nice. That's good. Very nice. Huge fruit too. Yeah, I mean these these soft ones, I can only eat maybe eight or ten at the most, and I'm bloated. They're very filling. This one's interesting though this year because it's a little more. Like, yeah, actually, actually, I like it better. It's got, a, it's got a, not a. I wouldn't say a crunch, but it's got a little bit of firmness. It's a little firmness to it, not like. But what's nice about it, as opposed to the china, is it doesn't. Choke. It's got none of that strings in it. You know that the the strings that pull it down your throat. <laughs> yeah, the china. They like to go they, when you're eating them. They have all the fiber that you can't break. 
So it like chokes you by dragging the whole piece down your throat. Well, one like this, it doesn't have as much fiber. So you can just bite pieces off This of is it. so nice and so easy. I like a jackfruit that's easy to peel. Yeah. This is it. Wow. I said that is what is much better about easy peel, like the softer jackfruits, is that they are a thousand times easier to clean. Yeah, for me, even if you're like not a soft jackfruit person, it, because I know this is not for everybody. Some people just don't like that like soft banana type of texture. Yeah, like I didn't use it. But like it. it's good to have in your collection if you have a fruit forest because this one you can do other things with it. If you take this and you dip it in batter and you deep fry it and you make like a donut, this will turn to like a custard inside the donut. We don't want to deep fry jackfruit. <laughs> some, of your, some of your people might want to do that though. Also, if you're gonna make so sweet. Wow. if you're gonna make pancakes or you're gonna make banana bread or jackfruit bread or anything like that, instead of chopping up the chunks, this will blend into the into it better. Also, for making a smoothie, you know, like you're a smoothie guy, so making a smoothie, you're not breaking up the chunks of of jackfruit. You're actually just kind of emulsifying the soft part. Wow, that is and look, uh, at, and it, look it closes right back up when you go like that. this to go back in the fridge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, amazing and. Uh, the, so the tree I got rid of at home that was soft and this, super soft, was actually sweeter than this, but so soft you couldn't even eat it. But this is like the perfect was texture. It, was yours very like white, like whitey yellow? A friend of ours has one of those too. That's it's it, it's just not a pleasant soft. It's, and they're small, they're small carpels. It's kind of just slimy. Yeah, you couldn't pull them out like this. But this is amazing. This now, how do you know they were ready? Uh, so to, I climbed the tree yesterday, and I was like, "There's two ripe fruits up here." Because I went up there and I felt them, and they had a little bit of give to it. And then what I did was for this one, I actually cut a little hole in the bottom of it, and I pulled one piece out, <laughs> just so that way I can try it to make sure it was good before I had Paul come all the way out here, so that way we didn't have another like bad one that we opened up and made him drive all the way out here for nothing. Yeah, and. Uh, Let's see here. Here's the tree. So yeah, here's one of the grafted trees that we have. So when you come on out here, ask them for Zane's World Soft. Look how juicy my hand is. That's how juicy it is. <laughs> Zane's World Soft. It says Paul's favor on there. So wonderful. It, What's that one now? So this one is called a Tony Morris Red, the TMR Red. So last year we. So this is on that Excalibur started grafting like what I would say eight, eight, nine years ago. Probably nine, nine years ago now. And we got a tree back then. And since nine years ago, there's not been fruits of this, like taking pictures, nobody's tried it, in like eight years. So last year we got two fruits off the tree, but they weren't very good fruits. And I don't know if it was just because of last year or if it was the first year the tree was fruiting. But a lot of people message us and go, is the TMR an ornamental tree? Because the trees grow huge and super fast, but they just Barely produce fruit. Like this year, our tree probably has a trunk that big around. But not tall. Not not tall, but it's very bushy, and it should hold like 20, 30 fruits. But we got five fruits, and all five fruits came off the same branch, flower spike. So there's like five fruits hanging on one stem, and I noticed that yesterday morning that this one is ripe, and it is soft. So it's called a TMR, which is it's Tony Morrison red. red. And do you have these trees for sale? No, because... We will have a few of them, but... uh. Wow, that's actually pretty this year. Is it? It's supposed to be here. Now, your knife, it's not getting stuck with latex. I move it fast. Yeah, but it's okay. also... Well, actually, it doesn't have a lot wow, of latex. Look at the color it. of that. That's interesting. It's, it's, it's like not, a pink. It's not as... Uh, oh, it smells good, too. Here, let me... Red as I expected. So this is the first time trying this. Okay. Just use this side that I cut. Yeah, so it's the first time we... I mean, we had we had some last year, but it it wasn't even really very red. So let's get hopefully. your opinion. Go so here's Rob, trying this. How is it? This is definitely a crunchier one. Crunchy, not a lot of flavor. This one doesn't have much flavor. Not that sweet. Now eating this after eating that. <laughs> and that, 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 that might be the problem is that to me right now, this fruit has zero flavor. That's what happens to it. We'll send you with some of this so you can... Uh... But if you do notice, this all right here is rag. And I noticed last year while eating it, to me, I like the rag better on this one. <laughs> the rag is better. <laughs> yeah. Well, here. Here, taste the rag. We're going to skip this one and... Uh... <laughs> so, 
You can Brown. see the difference in the color. Brown. So yeah. Paul's like, I want some more. Yeah, and this is, look how dry that is compared to this one as well. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's, that's good for a lot of people. I say like this fruit is not 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 bad by any means. And I would say if you were not a jackfruit connoisseur, you'd probably be like, "Wow." I mean, I wish I wish half the fruits around were as good as this. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when you're thinking of a jackfruit, it's not the most flavorful one. Well, we'll give this one another year. Try the, it again. the only problem with us propagating right now is that it doesn't seem like a very productive tree. So it's even though it's pretty, we might still make it. But it's not one that we'll make a lot of. I mean, of. you got 15 other varieties, so this yeah. wouldn't actually, be at the top of the list. But actually, the the I just ate the two sections of that had a different like the, the second part of the piece that I ate had a lot of flavor in it. It shows the potential. So maybe it's just not developed enough. Maybe it's not quite ripe enough. It's a beautiful color. Yeah, I know the pink. Yeah. But this, everybody, grab one of these because even though it has a good amount now, oh, so let me they're cut not going to last long. That's nice. So this. Oh, we got another, another fruit here to try. This is a velvet apple. It's in the persimmon family. It's also called Mubulu in the Philippines. I've actually had this a long time ago. Now, the skin is edible. It's like a peach almost, right? I do not like I do not like eating the, the skin just the skin's like because the skin has little hairs in it that stick yeah. to my like lips and stuff. Velvet apple. There you go, Paul. And as you see the seeds. Velvet apple. I like the flesh around the seeds a little better. All right, here we go. I'll pass. Yeah, right. I mean it's not it's absolutely. It's no not, flavor. Yeah. Well, well. But, but you also got to admit that nothing's gonna have you're any also, flavor. You're also stepping down from like <laughs> we should flavor overload. We should have tried this before we tried the jackfruit. You know, you know how it's. Yeah, you know. No, how you know what? Regardless. Oh my honestly, god, try this. It has absolutely zero flavor. Okay. Yeah, honestly, no flavor. I mean, it's like yeah, I, I can taste a little bit of the. Perfuminous. The, perfumi the perfuminess to it, but no, but you yeah. can't taste anything. That has no flavor. No, it has like it has a perfumey like that you can like smell in your nose when you exhale, okay. like a like a wasabi kind of like thing. a rose apple kind of has. Well, so we were given this by um, Lara, Julian, by Julian, and it's Julian, a, so, Laura Fong, so it's okay. a Lorito meme. Yeah, this is the most beautiful one on the inside. It's so red. Yeah, we're not. I've sure. never tried it, so this is the first. Oh, time really? That we're not sure how. It is because it might be a little overripe, but no, it looks nice. Look at that. That's wow, the Dorito's nice. Uh, I actually have a tree, but it only produced one so far. Yeah, we have some Doritos, don't we? Yeah, we have, we have one. We have tree. like one tree. That is very pretty. Now that's gonna have flavor. Hopefully, that'll have flavor. That may flavor. Yes. The reason. Now, do you have uh, this for sale? We, I think we have one 15 gallon available, but. You have go, a lot go, of variety. Go to, go to Lara if you want. A lot of farms, Miami. Yep. And you have a lot of uh, Miami here, though, right? We have uh, a lot of Pantene, a lot of Magana, a few Pace, and a Laredo, and I I that is good. I think we're That's gonna, really we're good. Have some. We're having a that few. A few made too. That's really sweet. Let me get a picture of this. I actually, I mean, Miami is nice. Yeah, Miami is another one that. It's weird because I really enjoy the flavor, but I don't want to eat a ton of it. When you eat a lot of it, you start to get full and. Well, what do you call a lot? Well, with like say with mango, I can eat a mango and then want to eat another mango and then want to eat another mango. I I, I never get tired of eating mangoes. Like I can just keep eating them. You know, if there's a plate of mangoes, I'll just keep eating the plate. If there's a plate of mame, I'll reach a point where I go, you know, I just don't want to eat anymore. Even though I don't not, I, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that they're very rich and. I don't know. They're yeah. maybe satiating. I mean, I love both these fruits, but a good mame. I mean, you can't oh, be yeah. a good mame. I mean, they're so good. Yeah, and here's a uh, oh, there we go. But I generally don't eat mame to get full. Like you would eat it to fill your to fill your belly as a meal, while I would eat it as a snack. That's great. This is like a great meal here. And every time you come to. No, Zane's World, if they have a ripe fruit, they're sharing it. No, so you can come I will, here. I will always cut a fruit open if, if it's ripe and somebody wants to try something. Even if it's a 40-pound jackfruit and there's one person there that wants to try it that day. I got pigs and stuff that I could feed it to if it starts going bad. So I don't, I'm not somebody who just who will try selling it to you. I want you to try it. Yeah, we don't really stuff. sell fruit, so. Sure. Yeah. 
Well, everybody, get on out here for sure. This is an excellent nursery. Uh, knowledgeable people that are selling the fruit. They're not just workers for the place. They actually own the place, and they know all about this. And I must uh, text or email Rob two or three times a week with questions, <laughs> even now, about a lot of these fruit trees, and he always gets back to me. I can't say he'll do that to everyone because he, if he gets a lot of requests, but uh, <laughs> that just shows you how much I respect his knowledge when it comes to fruit trees. And this place is great. Uh, the, the trees are wonderful here. The prices are great. Come on down. The link is below, and this is exciting. This is exciting. This is uh, this is up there with uh, an excellent jackfruit. If you like soft jackfruits. But again, it's easy peel. Easy so, peel is the key here. So one thing about the soft jackfruits I should tell people, and the way we got people interested in it at the Rare Fruit Council, one, one time we brought one of the fruit trees there, when we brought one of the uh, jackfruits there, and we said, you know, how many people here like soft jackfruits? You know, nobody raised their hand because no one really likes soft jackfruits. But I said, all right, I'm going to open up a fruit here. Don't think of it as a jackfruit. Because when people have the mentality that it's supposed to be like a firm one, like with an apple. If you ate a soft apple that was, a, that was banana consistency and you saw an apple going towards your mouth, you'd freak out because it doesn't matter how good it tastes. Your brain is going to fool you and say that it's bad because it doesn't match what you expect. So when you eat this, if you come into it with a, this is a, another kind of fruit, say it's a banana, you will take on a, a totally different thing in your m mindset. So that's, that's one way to do it. Okay, we have the psychology of uh, eating fruits to make them taste better than they or different than they appear. Well, so that your mind doesn't doesn't fool your expectations of what it's supposed to taste like. If you've never had jackfruit, it's perfectly fine to think of this as a jackfruit because you're not you don't know what a what you didn't grow up eating crunchy jackfruit. The psychology of jackfruit. Mm. All right. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. This place, check it out. It's just. Uh, Wonderful place. I've done many videos here. I'll post those links below uh, so you can see more about their nursery. They have a lot of exotic. They have a lot of uh, ver uh, variegated plants. Uh, so it's not just great tasting fruit, but this great looking fruit as well. Some very unique stuff they have here, but I'll post those links below. Thank you both very much. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, Paul. All right. All right. Here's one of my neighbors. He's going to try this jackfruit. He's had a lot of jackfruits before. As you know, some are soft and some are harder. Uh, mm. But he loves jackfruit, so. It smells good. Tell us what you think. What do you think of that one? This is great. <laughs> it's not hard, it is not soft. It's, it's like in the middle, it's between. Yeah. What do you think mm. of the flavor in that? Oh, the flavor is great. Yeah, I like that one. That was a seedling for my friend, and I liked it so much that he uh, he grafted them, and now he has the trees for sale. Worth having. That's a nice fruit there, right? Yeah. Very good. That's the best one you've had that I've given you so far, right? Oh, so good. Yeah, and it's easy peel. So when you peel this one, it peels right off. It's easy. No latex. It peels easy. That's what I like about it. All right. Wow. So thumbs up. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, post your comments and questions below. And if you have uh, a yard and you want me to come out and check out your trees, my email's below. And thanks for watching. Until then, everybody, have a great day and keep growing.